tying a uh, amber chronomid pupa today. Um, Daiichi 1130 size 12, 764 copper cyclops size, uh, as well as using uh, uni thread in the rusty brown. Uh, really put some uh, a peacock pearl for the antenna uh, white. So I just uh, did that and then uh, mounted the the bead head on and started creating the 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 base layer for the body. So I'm just uh, continuing right now and. Oops. I want to apply as well a uh, scud back uh, midge in the amber color, a one eighth uh, inch. So I'll just secure this guy. So what I'll be using for the ribbing, I'll be using um, the small copper ultra wire as well. That's in the copper and also darker copper uh, wire. It's probably a BR size or medium size, but I'll put them together and then secure it onto the hook. Do a half hitch or a whip finish just to secure this thread for the meantime. Tying the scud back. Secure the scan. Now the two coppers, lighter and small, and also one in the medium size. Just uh, do about two turns from the bottom. Yeah, I'll do three just to thicken it up, and then uh, roll it, wrap it around as evenly as possible. Throughout the, the body. Secure. Trim the excess. And just to finish off, um, I'm going to use instead of a peacock curl, I'll uh, I'll just use a dubbing for it. Uh, it's a olive uh, green dubbing, sparkly.
This basically is going to represent its thorax. Yeah, I just whipped finish. Just about lost that one. Just give this guy a quick brush and then trim out the excess. Basically, that's all she wrote. This is your amber chronomid pupa, and haven't tested her out yet, but uh, I'm pretty sure she'll get some hits. Uh, but uh, there it is new fly, new color. There you go. Uh, happy fishing. Fish on tight lines.